Hello there, this is Ryan from Burly Bricks coming to you live from my obscene Lego room. And today we are continuing on with the Harry Potter Ravenclaw House Banner 305 pieces. It's set number 76411. I've already done the Gryffindor and Hufflepuff banner. So I did buy all four of them, and I am curious to see how they go. This one's pieces, oh, there's a siren outside. Uh, this one's pieces are somewhere in the middle between the other two. The other two sets, I believe, covered around the high 200s. Uh, the one I the one I haven't done yet, the Ravenclaw one. Um sorry, the Slytherin one looks to be about like 350 pieces by far the most. So that's exciting because I like a good price per piece. Um the set originally retailed for about $45 Canadian. I did not pay that much. I believe they came in like a two pack that I got around Black Friday to, you know, get free Lego gifts. Um, or actually, it may have been, hmm, trying to remember. It may have been like a Harry Potter themed sale. So right now I'm building what looks to be Luna, <laughs> I always forget their names, uh, Luna Lovegood. It sounds like a Bond girl name, to be honest with you. Um, I am familiar with her character. If you watch the other videos, which I suggest you do, shameless plug, um, they, I, I mentioned how I'm, I haven't seen all the Harry Potter movies. So that's how she looks. I'm not sure what this is called. Help me out in the comments below, please. Uh, I will research it for my post-built thoughts. Um, but yeah, I, I've only seen, I think, the first six, and most of which were somewhat recent. I saw the first one at a friend's house in high school in the early 2000s. So the books and the movies and everything, they, they came out, um, I kind of just, just missed me age-wise. I was a little too old. Um, but, you know, a lot of people my age are, and a lot of friends of mine were big fans. Um, I know that a lot of people, like, after the fact, fell in love with them. Um, and that's awesome. But I was very, like, teen angst at the time that it came out so I pushed out against anything popular so like this movie and like the Lord of the Rings movies and stuff like that I was like uh, I don't want to watch those because that's what everybody's watching I'd rather watch 80s slashers um but then it wasn't until I got back into Lego and started buying the Harry Potter sets because even if you're not a fan of the IP lego will still give you a good set so i bought a lot of harry potter sets because they had a lot of great pieces for builds that i wanted to do um a lot of like the sandstone pieces that i um wanted for my hotel that i was building which you can see on my instagram same name burly bricks another plug um, so I bought a lot of Harry Potter sets, but because of that, I have so many Harry Potters. <laughs> I have so many Harry Potters left over, I don't know what to do with them all. So there are... What happened to these? There are stickers, it looks like. But I don't know what's happened to them. I will find them. I'm sure it came with them. This is what always happens with me. Um, oh, 
I found them. Not sure if I'm going to use them. You know what? I will use them. That's the other thing. With the Harry Potter stuff, I find they usually come with a lot of stickers. And it always gives me anxiety to use them. Because I repurpose. Oh, that wasn't too bad. That was the wrong one. Uh, because I repurpose a lot of the pieces, I don't want to commit to having a sticker on it full time. Um, unless I made some sort of astral nomical logical um library which isn't a bad idea actually um and so I, I kind of avoid using the stickers and i actually have a drawer in my like a room with a drawer just like this just full of stickers that i haven't used um that i'm always like oh maybe i'll use them one day or maybe you know i will use them but not on this piece that they're asking me to like a lot of times they ask they want you to put them on smooths but i like say it's a um a color that you don't see very often okay i'll put it on a smooth but i'll, I'll put it on like a, a white or black something that i have a lot of um but yeah and also, I will probably make a mistake at some point. So that's what I do. Yep. And I missed. I missed a set. I um. I I because I I I've been doing it like this, where I've had the the instructions here. I find myself looking at the last page because it's closer. And then just sort of putting in the, well, sometimes I, um, I'll just make a mistake and say, you know what, that's how it works now. Or like, maybe that was my design. Maybe the instructions <laughs> are just suggesting something, which is ironic because if you've seen my other Mario videos, I always go on about how <laughs> I wish that it came with instructions and here I am like ignoring them, the ones that come with it. But yes, that is a pet peeve. I'm spending a lot of money on these sets. Give me instructions, not links, not barcodes. I want instructions. What if I took this set out to the cottage where I had no reception? But then again, I guess if you lost the book, which is more likely, you can look it up online. So what is it that I'm building here? I'm not too familiar with the Raven Claws. And forgive me if I'm way off base. It tastes like dark too. Um... I feel like they're not featured as much. Sorry, I got distracted because I've been having a lot of print issues, I find. Never noticed this before until I've actually started doing these these um, videos, but I find like the coloration is off in some of my printed booklets, um, which is nitpicky, yes, but when the color is off so much that it looks like a an actual Lego piece that there's different colors of. Like this looks like the dark brown. It it wastes my time thinking, oh, there's a dark brown piece here somewhere. If that makes sense. I don't like that. It happened in my Animal Crossing. It was actually really bad in my one Animal Crossing set that I <laughs> kind of ranted about it. I didn't I don't want these um videos to be about me ranting about, you know, Lego things, but when you spend as much money as I do on Lego, you expect a certain quality, you know what I mean? So sometimes it's disappointing when Lego 
doesn't live up to its own quality standards. This is a crown. Oh no. Where did that go? I am off today, people. I have no idea where that went. That went all the way over there. I'm actually going to have to leave the right. And you'll see that I'm in track pants. Oh my goodness. I actually have to get up, walk out of frame for this. Today, I've had better days. I don't know what it is about today, but I just feel a little off. I wanted to do a quick build. I have a feeling this is going to take longer than usual. Maybe it's because I just thought that because I've done the other two that I'm just going through the motions of of this one, but that's not fair. I should be enjoying this build because I did enjoy the other ones. Um, these are just kind of awkward to put together sometimes. I, uh, I, I, I built the Hufflepuff. That was the first one. And then I did Gryffindor. And to be honest with you, I think that I prefer the... Hufflepuff. I don't know why. It just, maybe because it was the first one, and I knew what to expect after, because they're all similar builds. They're all the same kind of theme, and the same structure, essentially, like the bones. But they have, like, their own little... They have personality to them, I suppose. Like different, like different ones have different personalities. So it's kind of like I'm, I'm having deja vu when I build these because I technically built it before. Just it's slightly different, but they're really nice. And I'm excited that they are, um, there's a, the book series that I didn't buy because the book pieces themselves look like they were like just big pieces that you can't really repurpose as something else. So you you were kind of forced to keep it built, which is fine if you're if you're a collector and that's what you wanted. But I am the type of person that will build something and then go, okay, I want these pieces back. <laughs> So I didn't buy those, and when I bought these, I put off building them for a while because I thought they were like that, and I thought, okay, I'll try it, but um, turns out that they're actually a bunch of plates, which is exciting because I can definitely use these plates for other things. Okay, so I'm building this little segment here, now I'm attaching it to here, which is a lot like the last two builds, and maybe I should have watched the Harry Potter movie before I built this. I did that with Encanto. I watched Encanto, which was really good, and I did an hour and a half build that didn't record. Because I just have that kind of luck. But at the end of the day, before I started this YouTube channel, like two weeks ago, I would have just built anyway. So usually I just sit on the couch and do it while I watch TV because I'm so fidgety. I can't like sit and actually watch anything without doing something with my hands. Oh, these are printed on these on the side. That's different. All right, I've committed to the stickers. We'll see what happens. Sorry about that, not to be rude. Heard my phone beeping. Not that I have any friends. Okay, so now I'm building this. And... Ooh, this is interesting. So I'm building what looks to be a little candle. 
but it's upside down with a little flower piece here, a little white flower piece that kind of makes it look like um, dripping wax or at least uneven area, which is nice. That's right. Looks like I'm doing that again. Nope. What's great about um, buying sets is that it will show you different techniques that you didn't think of yet or that you don't know. As someone who likes to build things myself, it's always great to work off of real sets sometimes to see how they, they did it. I, I saw on the box, I believe it's this one. There's a really nice couch or chair build that I'm probably going to recycle. Uh, <clears throat> that was a copy. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, I kind of want to see if I can do like a modified version of it. But we'll get there. Sorry, my throat's bothering me a little bit today. And I find every time I record, for some reason, that's when I get like a tickle or something, I should really bring a drink with me when I do this, but I am not a professional, I am just a guy in his obscene Lego room talking about a, a, a book and film franchise I am not too familiar with. Where did that go? Oh, that went up. Miss this spot, of course. What's going on? Okay, so this is coming along. And I'm building what looks to be kind of an extravagant um fireplace, because they each have a fireplace. And oh, that's not too bad. Okay, moving on. This is the well, time when my feet start clustering because I haven't clocked this arrangement out. I've just been sitting on the floor on my feet because that's how I usually build my Lego. Or my feet always call them. So there's that. Yep. Yeah. They're starting to go. Okay. So moving on. This one says there's more pieces, but it doesn't feel like there's more pieces, to be honest with you. Sometimes I find when they do the turn, like in the instructions where they tell you to turn, like I get a little bit more. Um, don't have the best, like, I don't know. Perception of that. Okay. So this is basically all the same as the other ones in terms of, like I mentioned already, the structure. These are always kind of difficult to get on. Okay. I think that works. So now I'm doing this bit again. It's a lot of like repetition. Like, I'm not even looking at the instructions for this part because I remember. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. I wonder if you do all of them and then they gave you, like, a fifth version <laughs> with sort of the same pieces, if you could just instinctively build it. I feel like this one doesn't have as many stickers as the other two, which I will show. I'll probably do a video where I review all of them, since why not I have all of them, and that doesn't happen to me very often, where I'll get like everything from a set, like 
Eve of Collectible Minifigures, which I opened some earlier today. You can check out that video. It's disappointing. Um, but quickly, these are what the other ones look like. I guess I just spoiled how this one's going to look in the end. Maybe I've never done that. We'll pretend I didn't do that. Okay. So now I am attaching this, which I usually get wrong. So let me do this. And then I'll fix it later because these I just can't. Like when you have to do it one way and then turn it and make sure it lines up. Like I get it wrong every time. So I will try to. And then this goes out here. Cool. So again, it's very similar to the last one does. But it's a it's not it doesn't have the best structure to it right now. It's feeling a little loose. So I will some good pieces, some great usable pieces, reusable pieces in this for me, in my opinion. And these are always good, these these blue corner pieces. I, I use some of them in my I haven't posted it yet, but I have a um Christmas village well, that I've shown some of. Uh there's more pictures of it on my Instagram, wink. But I I made a, a corner bakery and um and yeah, I missed a bunch of pieces. <laughs> And uh, they use the the roof used a lot of those pieces, which are beautiful. And I forgot the other. I did see. I know this should be really easy, and it is. But I just I keep distracting myself. Ah, hurry! I don't know. Like I'm trying to base these on the color design for me personally. Because I it's got a lot of great colors in here. Um I'm trying to think like what is my favorite color design. It's hard because I love the dark, like the maroon color and the dark blue. And I think the other one might be a dark green, the Slytherin one. Okay, okay. let's go with these other characters. This is Cho, I believe. Cho Chang and Michael Corner. I'm not familiar with that character, but I'm kind of channeling his hairdo. I'll show you when I finish him. And I've noticed um, these, these builds, as I said, they're similar, though the characters are different. I'm assuming the characters are relevant to the houses that they belong to. Um, but there is a consistent theme I've noticed with them is that one will be in the uniform with the coat, one would be in the uniform with the sweater, and then one, I guess, just the uniform in general. So it's, they're different characters, but there's all three of them. So there's like a variety. So they're not all three wearing the same clothes, which, you know, I'm, I'm, Sure, there are versions of them where you can just swap them if you want to like change their heads and hands. You could do that too. Um, so that that's a nice little touch that it's the same, but they give you some outfit variety. Actually, there was this. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Like there was a set that I bought that was like a case. I didn't do a build or anything. This was before. It was like a case that you could keep redressing and it came with a couple of torsos but a, a bunch of heads and a bunch of of these characters that you can swap 
like you could take their heads off and swap them so they're not like an official they they only gave you so many minifigure parts but it was sort of like you could you couldn't have all like 20 of them at the same time but you could have a couple of them built and i don't know how i feel about that because how would you display that how would you it was weird <laughs> it was weird for me um i'm not sure let me know what your thoughts are on that but i um i i think i'd probably prefer maybe i mean it's a good way to to if you're on a budget and you can just decide which characters are your favorite and which ones are yours you would build in my opinion i would do every one but harry potter just because he's so common oh these are times two okay i'm glad i noticed that now that explains why i have an extra one of these pieces too okay moving on yeah so these chairs i i I saw them on the box and they look really nice. The the red ones from the last build, they were okay, but I found that the characters kept just slipping right on out of them while we tried to sit them down. Um which I mean was funny, but it got kind of annoying <laughs> that they couldn't actually stay in the chair. So I'm not sure if that will happen with this one. I have a feeling that it might. Um, also, because it's built upside down, these kind of act as little legs, which is an interesting idea. Something I probably wouldn't have thought of. Okay, so this is that chair. That's really cute. I like this. I'm actually doing um, a build right now of an office tower. I have some videos of it on my on my YouTube page. Um, and I also wanted like brown leather because there's there's an office building that I'm like the, the top floor of the office is going to be the CEO's office and I want there to be like leather couches and things like that. So this this is good for my creative process. Okay, so now I'm doing a book. That uses up the last current, which looks big. I guess oh, it's on the front of the book. That makes sense. Okay. Well, that's always nice to have extra book pieces. Maybe I will make that library. There's that Galileo free gift that came out that I have one of that I haven't built yet. But I mean, you could just extend that on. Or I can put these in that CEO's office, who knows? So that's why it's always exciting to get like an official set to see like, ooh, what new accessories can I use for my books? Um, but yeah, so I think I mentioned this in a different video about uh, the Harry Potter IP and the the sets because the sets that are released by lego are harry potter related and they all seem to depict like a certain moment from one of the movies but i've noticed that i want to say that i haven't seen all the Jurassic world movies either but i suspect that some of those some of those um depictions that i've been seeing in the current sets they're not actually from a movie so or like a particular scene or something like it just sort of was like okay let's put this person in a set with a triceratops and some other care I, I i'm not sure let me know if i'm wrong but does do the harry potter sets do that do they depict actual moments and locations or do they have like just like a fun made up scenario i should say uh because i noticed that and i'm wondering if they're going to start doing that because i've noticed a bunch of um noticed a bunch of sets that are releasing now seem to be 
different interpretations of ones that had already come out. I'm seeing a lot that like I already own, which was strange to me because like, you know, like Hagrid's hut and things like that. Like I'd already seen that one before, but I don't know if maybe they re-release it when they have new pieces that they can use. I'm not exactly sure. And have I done something wrong here? It feels like probably, probably did do something wrong here. What did I do wrong here? This, I did this wrong, aha. Uh -huh. I always assume things when you when you build something that continues that it's going to be symmetrical. So my mind just does that. And it was not, not big on asymmetrical builds. <laughs> just because I'm very like, OCD, well, selectively, and I'm, I haven't been diagnosed or anything, but about things like it has to be a certain way. So when things, again, like that's why I need these types of sets because it gets me out of my comfort zone of how I build to see how things could be built. So it's okay. I'll try to talk myself down that this wasn't identical. But now that I'm building the next segment, it looks like it is identical. But they're playing the long game here. Oh. And apologies for dog barking. That's my neighbor who I guess came home. This happens every day at this time. I don't usually come into this room, but the walls here are extremely thin and I was kind of hoping I'd be done before this happened. This is actually the first time this has happened, but I've had sirens earlier. I've had um, the garbage truck outside. <laughs> But I, I, I just, you know, I just hit record and I, and I go with it. And I've been told I don't rewatch them, but my partner does. And he would say like, oh, that peach, that princess peach Mario thing that you're using, like the sounds that I was talking about weren't being picked up by the microphone or, you know, I will error and say like i said oh i used to play this a lot on nintendo 64 i meant the switch and i'm sure i'm doing that with this too but you know what i'm just building lego on youtube and if you want to watch go for it and if i make a mistake let me know in the comments but it's not that big of a deal and why did i do that I got presumptuous. I have to put this on one of these first. Okay. These were actually a lot easier to stick on this than the ones down here that had the, the other studs, which don't seem to kind of go in. These these were a lot easier, so I appreciate this. These dark blue plates are I can never have too many of those so that's exciting this is definitely a set like if I saw it on sale again I would absolutely and the other ones as well buy just for the pieces just for the pieces alone and like you know sell off the minifigures to make back some cash so I really don't need these minifigures they don't these ones are good because um, in my city, I want the minifigures to be like the classic yellow minifigures. I don't use the the flesh color ones. That's that's just me. That's just my um, you know personal preference. So anything IP related that shows like 
flesh, I will try to recoup my money. <laughs> Some of them, though, I will keep for like the Ghostbusters and, and stuff. I have the the Ghostbusters haul. Um, I, I would keep that for sentimental value. But other than that, like, I don't really need them unless, for example, that's a nice suit and tie. I'm making an office building, so I might swap out his hands and, and head for that body because I can put that in my office building. So things like that, I will keep. There's actually a lot. Um, my previous Instagram profile picture, I'm wearing Ron's R uh, sweater in in my minifigure profile picture so a, a lot of the the harry potter sets especially the ones where they're in their like street clothes are very useful to me but then i go through my bits of minifigures and, and like, why do i have so many harry potter heads at least with harry potter heads you know exactly who it is because it's got the little you know, a little scar. Okay, I am doing this all wrong again. I know, this must be really tedious. Unless you're like, you know, people that like to watch those epic fail videos or, you know, where people fall down. And I guess that's like the new America's Funny Some Videos. This, this is essentially that. And boy, that I did this wrong. This is just me making a fool out of me. No, I'm having fun. Okay, and then this goes on here. Here, and is this the triangle? Don't ask, because I'm here. Ah. So they each have these like little clip things that go on that you can then hang the display on, which is interesting. Um, I know I know what's happening now, but it's sort of like when you when you build these for the first time, you're kind of like, how does this how does this work? And then as you as it starts to come together, the different pieces that you assembled, you're like, oh, that's how. What do I need myself for? Here, um, yeah, I'm not too sure how I'm feeling about this particular post. We try to keep it slightly different. Just looking, the other ones actually they had more of the sandstone colors for like the arches, whereas this one's gray. So this one's different at least. Wow. Oh, and now I'm using this here. Okay, that's that's what these are for. It's always good to get different colors though. And then these. And now I get excited every time I see like a dark gray because I was running out of them for my last build, so I don't have to, you know. Okay. <laughs> make another online order but i have in the past bought sets that i haven't even bothered to build yes this is true oh right because i just put the pieces out so this is the holographic let's see that backdrop it's a really big piece this is not a sticker but it may as well be that you put in the back here each each one of these sets have it so it's pure it's curious to see like how they are going to frame it when you look at it initially. But that's nice. And now I'm going to make the front beautiful. And let's also upside down. So I'm just going to do it like this. Because last time I just really messed this part up. And these Gray smooths are always great to have as well. Okay, 
coming out this path and they were... I don't know why people might get mad if I say this, but like this kind of reminds me of like medieval times. <laughs> These banners, which I guess have become pretty iconic. Uh, let me know because I haven't read the books, like are these banners depicted in the books? Like are they, I know they're in the movies, but are they described just like this? Like there's no movie magic or were they actually on like the cover art of books? Like did, like is this design that I'm doing from the movie or was it already established because I know like with um with um Game of Thrones you know I'm sure there's descriptions like their house sigil was you know the the Kraken or what have you like, I don't know see this is sort of When you do it on top of here like that, it kind of unlinks the stuff. So yeah, so let me know because I'm curious if this was something that was already well established in the books. Like I said, I'm not like a huge Harry Potter fan, but I'm coming around to it now that I've discovered the Lego sets because it's actually a lot of fun when you when you are building the Lego sets and then seeing the scene that they're trying to depict, how they translated it, it into Lego. That's always a lot of fun. Those little details are really nice. So like when I watched and I bought Encanto because I the set for the house because it looked like a lot of really nice colors, but I didn't understand what it was that I was doing. Um, actually, and then I watched the movie and then I built it and I thought, oh, this is, I'm so glad I watched the movie because now I understand why this is here. Now I understand why that is there. Um, so that was great. And it looks like I'm done. Okay. So, that was the Raven House, and I'm going to open it up. Yeah, see, I pushed down too hard on this, and now this popped off. Well, sometimes it feels like a little flimsy. So let's see. So that's the playset here. And the little chairs, will they be even sit in it? Okay, so far so good. I'm not sure what these lights represent. You'll have to let me know. But yeah, so that was the build for the Ravenclaw house banner. This is the third banner that I've done. And I have to say, I think I enjoyed the Hufflepuff one the most. I'm not sure if maybe if I built this one first, and then that one now, if I feel the same way, maybe because it was the first one, or maybe I just liked the color scheme aesthetic a little more. I don't know, but this one may be my third favorite. I think it goes Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, and now Ravenclaw. Stay tuned for Slytherin. But listen to me, I sound like a, just like your everyday regular Harry Potter fan now. Um, but let me know in the comments, did you build this one? Was this one your favorite? Do you have a favorite? Uh, do you have a favorite Harry Potter set in general? Uh, let me know. I would love to hear that. And thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your night.